We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing okay. How are you? Um, I have no real complaints, I don't think. Um, the Ohio State season is uh is going. Four and Uh we've got some other four and teams still still chopping out there, still going. Uh but Kyle, we had a little bit of chaos this week, and that's that's what we're here to talk about. Um, so we have uh, we have a few games to talk about. Um, I I really shit the bed on the slip picks this week for the first time. I mean, I I, I have had like one good week, two okay weeks, and then so this begins. past week, oh my god! So it begins. Yeah, I lost. I lost first place to 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 Nomad, one of our mods. But I'm only down by one game, so well, that, that don't, was don't worry his, about me. That was one of his questions. Like, can we get an air update on the Sloop Pick standings after week four? Oh, really? That's that's convenient that he would ask that question just now. It is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> See you, Kabuto. There you go, Jared. Yeah. It's uh it's it's too small. People can't read it. It's fine. Uh Kyle, let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about this week's games. Yeah, let us uh, let's start. Oh, you just moved things around. All right, here we go. Uh, Georgia and Kent State. This was a big blowout, wasn't it? No, no, it doesn't. Uh, Caputo, the zero and seven is like a guy saluting. They they're they're saluting you. That's what 07 means. Uh, <laughs> I am old, I guess. Yeah, it's it's a it's a, but it's a thing. Um, the yes, uh, Georgia did not look good against Kent. I know we still have like a 17 point win here, which is, you know, not not the worst thing that's ever happened. Um, but it, it was more competitive than that than that final score shows it's kent state yeah it's it, also it's kent state yes. like this isn't even toledo you know it's just that's it, it's uh this is not a good team um and kyle ironically if you watched enough of this game and sadly enough i did um it was really george's offense that won this game um, it was strange because they're deep again, like couldn't you know, like only 22 points against Kent. I get that, but without some turnovers, um, and, and Kent was deliberately like trying to eat the clock. Kent state in many instances in this game were pushing. And I mean, pushing the Georgia defensive line around. Mm -hmm. yeah and but yeah in the in the second half yeah uh georgia did step it up on their defense there it was you know it was a close game going into halftime it was like 13 to 24 something like that i forget exactly what it was but it was it was a close it was a lot closer than i thought it was going to be at i halftime. think there was a point in the third quarter where it was on i think georgia was only winning by 10 points if i remember correctly Oh, let's look here. But yeah, right, was, uh, we. Oh we, yeah, we, yeah. It was with with three thirty left in the second quarter. It was nineteen thirteen Georgia. Okay. So there's that. There's that. Okay. Uh, All right. Maryland yeah, and well, Michigan, well, Kyle. Um, we see Michigan I, for the first time play a team with a pulse. Yeah, and this was. I think I think we mentioned a little bit, and I think some other people mentioned it. This was a hey, what watch out. This is going to be closer than what than what uh people might think it will be. And sure enough, it was. It was a was that a uh, eight point victory for no seven point seven point victory for Michigan. Yeah, and it's uh I I'm walk away from that completely unimpressed with Michigan. I'll say it. Mm -hmm. Completely unimpressed with Michigan. Yeah, same um, here. 
Ba- uh, Buckeye Matt, I, d- I don't think so. In all honesty, I, I don't even I don't even know if they actually benched him at the end. Uh, or I mean, if the, he actually was injured at the end, I think they may have benched him at the end because um, as as good as baby Tua is. He's also like incredibly careless with the football. Like I mean, he, had, he had two he interceptions kept, in that game. And, he, and it could have been more. Um, yeah, but I think the bottom line here is that I walk away from this game completely like the difference in this game, Kyle, could be Maryland fumbling the opening kickoff and giving Michigan an easy touchdown to start the game. I mean, that that's essentially the game there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, move along. Clemson needing two overtimes to beat Wake Forest. Yeah. Uh, once. Yeah. <laughs> I watched enough of this game to tell you it's not because both of these teams are good. Correct. Yep. It's uh, Wake had no business being ranked. Clemson has no business being in the top five. Next, please. Baylor in a uh, in a close match with Iowa State. This is this is just Iowa State here. You come to Iowa State and it's going to be a dog fight. Yeah. And Baylor got ba- Baylor got out of there with a 7-point victory. I I I really thought Iowa State could have won this game personally. Um I and I, I actually kind of think Baylor was I I think this is more than a 7-point or excuse me, six point, seven point. No, I was right the first time. Seven point win. Like a Baylor looked like they were in charge of this game most of the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Team Chaos taking its first soul in this weekend. Middle Tennessee beating Miami 45 to 31. And yes, 45 to 31. 14 point, 14 point victory. And by the way, Miami had to put together a comeback to get that close. I think it was 31 to 10 at one point. Um, This was Miami putting together a comeback to still lose. (laughs) Uh, My uh, trashed Miami. They had 98 yards passing. Oh, 98 yard TD pass. I I, I read that wrong. Yeah. Middle Tennessee did. They had a. They had a. They were at, back at their two-yard line, and they're playing one-on-one on the outside, and their corner got beat hard. Now, Kyle, I have to ask a question because you said this was our first team chaos of the week. What? Does my, does Miami get that honor? I know they were ranked technically, but they're it's two in Tennessee. Two. I understand it's a big upset, but does Miami get the honor of a of of being claimed by Team Chaos? Yeah, yeah, I say yes for this week. I think you're being generous to Miami, but okay. All right. Tennessee finally beating Florida after, what was it, five years, I think? Finally beating Florida 38 to 33. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and say this again, like I did with Clemson and Wake Forest. I walk away from this game completely unimpressed by both of these teams. Yep. I, I, I don't, I, I'm I not worried. Almost... I'm not concerned. I'm not worried about either of these teams. Tennessee, I think is fine. I haven't seen the rankings yet today. Cause I don't care if I'm being honest. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Tennessee was in the top 10, especially like I, with, uh, with a, with a loss to Oklahoma, yeah, when, we'll be. get to that later. I have to imagine and Arkansas losing. I have to imagine Tennessee's in the top 10 almost by default at this point, but still. Uh, All right. But I but I, yeah, I, uh, I agree. I, but I, I don't think thing, they're actually a top 10 quality team, if I'm being honest. I mean, but, the, one thing, the one thing I, I do take away from this game here and never really realized how how organized Tennessee the, is eighth, by the way. Thank you, Buckeye Matt, for the assist. How, how organized uh, Tennessee is to be able to actually get their fans to wear the appropriate colors based on where they're sitting at. 
God, you can't even convince like 10% of Ohio State fans to just show up wearing black. <laughs> Texas. Texas is back, Jared, right? No. 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 They 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 lose to Texas Tech 37 to 34. So that means they're going to be ranked higher now because they lost. Uh that only works for Alabama. Okay. Yeah. Uh you see, uh, Ole Miss, when you lose to Alabama, that is. Yeah. Ole Miss uh, escaping Tulsa 35 to 27. This, I don't know why. I don't know why Ole Miss is that high to begin with. That's a great question, Kyle. Um, but this game, again, was a little bit even closer than the eight points would 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 tell you. Uh, it's much closer than that. Um, the, I'm. Again, like there are not, there's no good middle class of teams this year. I don't know how many teams actually belong ranked like six through 16. I just, I don't think there's a good middle class of teams this year. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that here soon. Uh, Oregon. Uh, just <laughs> escaping Washington State 44 to 41. Uh, yeah, I'm mostly pissed about this one because of the sloop pick. Washington State throws a Hail Mary. The guy catches it. I don't think it, was, it wasn't really a Hail Mary, but whatever. It was a super long pass at the end of the game. Catches it. Doesn't quite get the touchdown. Washington State with time expiring, jumps the line and gets a touchdown, and all it really did was fuck me over. Yep. Broke my mic. Kentucky. Speaking of teams overrated, Kentucky barely escaping Northern Indiana, 31 to 23. Is, is Kentucky the uh, most Illinois. over... Excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. Northern Illinois. Sorry. Is Kentucky the most overrated team this year? They're all overrated. <laughs> I've been saying it. Kyle, I've been saying it since the summer. There are three teams and there is everybody else. And quite frankly, all of those three teams have shown weaknesses at some point this year. So I don't even I don't even know how good the top three are, to be honest. I think all I think even the top three are fairly limited this year. Texas AM hosts Arkansas and, and comes out with a win, 23 to 21, and another yeah. sloop pick where the over-under was two and a half. Yeah. That that one and, that one hurt a little bit, Jared. Yeah. It did. Um, but yeah, this this Kyle, I think, is our maybe if we're. Maybe our only well, outside of Oklahoma, obviously, and we'll get to Oklahoma, don't worry. Um, outside of Oklahoma, maybe our only like real team chaos moment of, of the of the week. I know Texas A&M uh, was ranked 23rd coming into this game, but Arkansas was top 10, a top 10 team lost to a team outside the top 10. I think that. I think that's a team chaos moment. All right. Uh, looking here, looking here. Kansas State, Jared. Oh, my is it time God. To talk, is it time to talk about Kansas State being the Achilles heel for Oklahoma? Sure. <laughs> four out of the past God. five years. They won't be. The past, four out of the past five years, Kansas State has beat Oklahoma. And now we know why Oklahoma is going to the SEC. <laughs> what was it? I, I saw the I saw on somebody's shared on social media that the Kansas State football pay Twitter page just posted the final score and just says it just means more. <laughs> you, you can you can count on. I'm, I'd be surprised if Texas Tech didn't do the same thing. Yeah. Should have. Yeah, these 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 new pickups for 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 uh, the SEC yeah. look great right now. Yeah, Buckeye Matt, uh, exactly what I was thinking. 
see what happens when uh, Martinez has a decent coach. Uh, you see what happens when Martinez has low expectations at a place like Kansas State. Because Martinez, not not unlike Baby Tua, guys with like like the ability to completely take over a football game, but also the ability to completely lose a football game. Speaking of uh, questionable... Yeah, he did finally beat Oklahoma, yes. Finally. He's, he's got that going for him. Uh, speaking of questionable investments, um, USC uh, beats Oregon State by three points. Um, Ooh. Ooh. And... Uh, it, it looked like for a while Oregon State was going to win this game. Um, maybe Kyle is if this can be the one questionable game for USC this year. Maybe maybe they escaped their 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 sleepwalk game, and and maybe maybe the path's open for USC Kyle if they you know get a little bit of consistency. Yeah, may maybe maybe maybe. All right, Kyle. Um, what's that? Why do I have a screenshot in here where I didn't actually put a circle on any <laughs> of them? Uh, we don't need to talk about any of those. Um, Sparty, Jared. Sparty. Let's talk about Sparty. Losing once to... again. Once again, a a thirty four to seven. Minnesota beats Michigan State thirty four to seven. And once again, I feel like the the beat down is worse than the score indicates here. Yeah, it it was. I'm I'm trying to remember. Was it was it actually thirty four nothing? I believe it was. Yeah, I think that was like a total junk time touchdown by Michigan State. I think you're I'm correct. Looking, yes, they scored with seventeen seconds left. <laughs> so is Minnesota considered collegiate chaos? Or are they actually good enough to make a legitimate run to Indy? I think they they, they absolutely can make a legitimate run to to Indy. Um, they can. Yeah, I I don't I don't see why not. Uh, Minnesota is undefeated in the Big Ten. Grant, this is actually I, think, I believe their first win in the Big Ten though. Um, the uh, Wisconsin just got their first lost their first loss in the Big Ten. And Kyle uh, Rutgers is undefeated in the Big Ten. Or excuse me, Iowa is undefeated in the Big Ten still as they uh, defeat Rutgers. And like kind of slammed Rutgers too. Now, here's the thing, though. Yeah. There are actually three teams playing this game. This is weird. Follow me on this. There are three yeah. teams in this game. All right. Uh, there was Iowa's defense, Iowa's offense and Rutgers. Uh, Iowa's defense uh, scores 14 points, winning the football game. Uh, <laughs> Iowa's offense only got 13 points, so they got second in the football game. And and Rutgers, with a score of 10, gets third. Rutgers came third in a two-opponent contest. 27 yeah. points out of Iowa. That's That's like Ohio State scoring 55. That is. What? Iowa winning, but not using offense crazy. But they did use their offense. Isn't it? Uh, no Iowa touchdowns, though. I mean, a defensive touchdown is sort of like an Iowa touchdown, right? Yeah. All right, let's see here. Northwestern, Jared. Uh, at, at, least, at least Northwestern didn't lose to a uh, a Big Ten team, so they're still undefeated in conference play. Oh God, Nebraska! <laughs> yes, Nebraska. How did you lose? Nebraska. How did you lose to Northwestern? And don't don't say Ireland because I'm not I'm not buying it. <laughs> Northwestern losing to Miami of Ohio, seventeen to fourteen. How? Yeah, that happened. That happened. How? That how, happened. How do you lose? to the fighting Ben Roethlisberger's in the year of our Christ 2022. <laughs> Cause Northwestern. I mean, I know we'd go every other year with Northwestern. I get it, but 
Wow. Yeah. Wow. North, Northwestern is one in three this year with oh, by losses, the way, with losses to Duke, Southern Illinois, and now Miami of Ohio. Well, will they win another? Will they win a game the rest of the year, Jared? Probably, because that's just what that's what a Northwestern does. <laughs> I mean, the only one I can possibly see is maybe Illinois. Illinois Purdue. has Illinois Purdue. has actually looked pretty good at times this year, for being or honest. Or Purdue. That's uh, it. Pur- Purdue, Purdue's doable. Purdue's doable. Yeah, I think that's it. That's like the only Purdue. That I've seen. Purdue did win this week, however, and you might be like, "Oh, well, it was Florida Atlantic." Yeah, well, Northwestern lost to fucking Miami of Oxford, Ohio. <laughs> yeah imagine that, they win the west and half <laughs> those is their three <laughs> losses god help us <laughs> yeah all, all of northwestern just flips the october switch and then they're all of a sudden juggernaut by the way yeah. kyle we skipped over uh cincinnati absolutely destroying indiana yeah fair enough it's indiana And then the last game we had to circle here, a much needed win for Notre Dame um, heading on down, heading on over to Chapel Hill and defeats the Tar Heels 45 to 32. I do both of these teams suck, Kyle. Yes, UNC is not that great this year. Because I know I know this was UNC's first loss, but I think there's a huge but that comes after that sentence. But I'm just saying, I, I don't remember what their schedule was, but I'm pretty sure like they North barely Carolina? beat Appy State. I remember they barely that. beat Appy State. They won by seven to Georgia State. Yeah. And they beat FAMU um, convincingly. Who? FAMU. You know that team. What is that? Florida A&M? Yes. The Rattlers. I've, it sounds vaguely familiar. They're, they're <laughs> FCS, right? Uh, they're Florida State's engineering college, Z-Spikes tells us. They're in the SWAC. So yes, that would be, that would be FCS. Yes. We put right, 77 Jared. on them a while back. Yeah. Did we? I, Hold on. Why, I think that's did, not. Yeah. That, no, I think it was like Florida International, wasn't it? I don't ever remember playing Florida. When was the last time Ohio State played in FCS school? I think it's been a while. Uh, Where, where is it? Yeah. Ohio State did play them. It was, it was a while ago. I think, yeah, I uh, think. Back think, in what, 20. Back in 2013, Ohio State won 76 to nothing. I I have no memory of this game. Okay. (laughs) Kenny G was the man. Yes, Ohio State scored three touchdowns in their first six minutes. I I, my my mind has erased this game, apparently. (laughs) Okay, Kyle, uh, we need to. Uh, we need to move forward with the show. We covered all the games. All right, Kyle, this is the first week that we are doing this. Uh, for those of you uh, watching YouTube, you now see our our tier list up on the screen. Uh, for those of you listening, we're going to place um, teams into four tier list, maybe five if we get spicy. Um but we're going to have an, the S tier. The S tier means like currently a playoff team. A tier is just like the teams that we think are on the cusp of like, like next in line to the playoffs. And we have that currently at four, but I think we can kind of take that anywhere from like two to six, I think is a good range for, for a tier B tier are teams that we think are like outside chance for the playoffs. So in the playoffs on the cusp of the playoffs and for B it would be, you know, on the longer list of playoffs, playoff possibilities. 
Yeah. Uh, All right. Currently, what we have up on the screen is what Kyle and I did as a um, preseason preview at one point. I don't even I don't even remember what date we did this, Kyle, but this was our preseason preview at one point. So right away, what adjustments need to be done? <laughs> Sparty needs to go. <laughs> well, I, I, I was starting at the top of the list where Texas A&M somehow made it into the S tier. Yep. Get them out of there. Yeah, Get we're going to drop them all the way down to C or just the other group. The other group. And then Sparty, yeah. just, Sparty just goes away too. Sparty needs to go the hell away. Um, oh, Middle other... Tennessee and Kansas deserve to be S tier. I don't even... I don't even have Middle Tennessee on the chart. <laughs> I don't even know if I have Middle Tennessee on the computer, and I have most of the schools on my computer. Um, Utah, I don't think neither Utah nor Notre Dame belong in A tier anymore. I think that's a fair assessment. Yes. I agree. Yep. I think I think Utah you could probably put in B tier. I feel I feel fine putting Utah in B. Even after the loss to Florida? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Kyle, uh, one of the, uh, let's see, uh, Clemson, NC State, uh, USC, Baylor, we have in B tier. I think those are at, those are at worst, right? They, maybe we move them up, but they, they all belong at least here. Um, Oregon, right, so does Oregon still belong in B tier? I, yeah, I know they got I know they got smashed in week one, but I'll give them that pass there. And they've looked OK so far. So I'll, I'll keep them in B tier because they, they're still in it for their their conference. OK, uh, I think what you can add into the B tier as much as I hate to say it, but I mean, they're undefeated and they just beat a ranked team. But put in the volunteers up there. Yeah, that, no, the that's, that's absolutely a good call. Move the volunteers up. Um, Buckeye Matt says Washington should be beer, B tier, beer tier, beer tier. <laughs> uh, I guess they I have mean, a, they, they have a loss, they, they, right? No, they're undefeated. No? They, okay. they have they have everybody in the chat's favorite quarterback starting. Ah, yes, big Penix en energy. Yes, I think I think what you can move into the A tier. And I, you can convince me otherwise, Jared. Maybe you can move USC up to no, A tier. I 100% agree with you. Okay. Um, what about at, at least? Uh, by the way, at least A tier. I'm ready to have the conversation about them as the fourth team in S tier. Okay. And All I know right. they and, just had a crappy showing this week. I get that. And what about Clemson? I think Clemson could probably put an A tier as well. I agree. Um. I don't like them that much, but they're literally on the cusp of the playoffs. I think if you look at where they're ranked right now, um, do I think they're there much longer? No, um, I, I, I think this I, I'm not impressed by Clemson. Not at all. Yeah. Until they lose Clemson is a so maybe I, I think Zach, that, maybe. I think, so I think Michigan, you keep it a Oklahoma with a loss. Now they go down to B. They go down to B. Yep. So, Kyle, I uh, North Carolina State. I like North Carolina State. Maybe enough to move them into into the A tier. Well, let, let's. How about this? Do that in the A tier. Right. Whoever loses this weekend will go down to the B tier. Okay. NC State is heading on. I'm just. I'm just verifying. Yep. They are heading down south to take on Clemson. I'll take NC State in that game. Do we do we have a line on that game yet? Ooh, let me look. Let me look here. I'm, I'm expecting. I ask because I'm expecting the Wolfpack to be favored. No. You're going to be shocked, Jared. You're okay, tell me. Shocked. Tell me. Just tell me. Clemson. Seven. I, easy money. Easy fucking money. NC State's going to win that football game. Um. Oregon belongs in B. Tennessee belongs, um, I mean, at worst B. Um, I think this pits this pits still in B. I, 
I they guess have one loss, right? Be, yeah, they have one loss there. But Minnesota, but moving Minnesota up to B tier, four zero. They're I'm ranked good with that. now. I'm good with Minnesota okay. uh, in the B tier. Um, right. What about Penn State? We need to move Penn Kentucky State? up there as well. Yep. What about Penn uh, State. Penn State, we can move up. I'm just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and move Miami down to the M tier. That feels appropriate. All right. All right. I'm good with that. <laughs> All right. I'm not immediately seeing seeing anyone who I feel like we're like the disrespecting only other one by keeping maybe. out of. I mean, maybe Arkansas. They have yeah, their first loss. Say, maybe Arkansas, but uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, here, here's a, you can convince me otherwise, Jared. Okay. They are undefeated. They do, they do, they do have a win over an SEC team. Mm -hmm. What about the Seminoles? You, the Seminoles are undefeated? They are 4-0. Oh. All right. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. We'll move them up. Okay. We'll move them up. Um, I think I think this I think this is good. I I don't really I'm have like a contact. limit of teams for B tier. Like I'm just like I I, I think these are wait, uh BYU. Did they get their first or second loss? First. They're just one loss, right? They're just one loss. Everybody yeah. we have up here has one loss or are undefeated. Okay. Um yeah, I think two losses and you're immediately down here. Um and you might have to earn your way back up through other teams losing primarily. So if, if we are, if we're comparing the AP here, the teams that we are missing here compared to the AP is Ole Miss. I'm fine with Ole. I mean, I mean, until I, they I, lose, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not sold personally. Yeah. Same here. And Wake Forest. I mean, you can keep Ole Miss off. I'm fine with keeping Ole Miss off. <laughs> And uh, uh, Wake, Wake Forest. Wake, Wake Forest was always and, fake good. In Kansas State. Uh no. I keep Kansas State off. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not putting Kansas State in there yet. All right, should, Kyle, should, we we need uh, to move uh, a team. Zach, Zach, Zach brings up a good point. Shouldn't Sparty be down to M tier? You know what? I'll allow it. I'm gonna go ahead and move Texas A and M down there as well. I think is also an appropriate thing to do. Uh, Buckeye Zach said, are the Nittany Lions B tier or A tier almost in the top 10 now? I think it's worth a conversation. Um, I personally don't think so. I, I think Ohio State will absolutely devastate them. If you're telling me right now that you think Penn State's significantly better than, than Wisconsin, I don't believe you, is my opinion on that. I mean, we're not going to know until... A few weeks from now, I mean, they play Northwestern, then they have a bye week, and then they have three tough games right in a row. They're Michigan, Minnesota, then Ohio State. Yeah, we're yeah. just not going to know this Penn State team here. So I'm fine keeping them in B tier for right now. But I mean, if if something happens to anybody in the A tier, maybe we'll move them up to A tier. But I think they're right on that cusp for now. Uh, I do as well. The game will potentially be a nighttime whiteout, and that scares me a little. No, it's already scheduled as a nooner. Yes, it is a noon game. Yeah, that one's been scheduled. So yeah, I I think this is our list here. I don't. Well, I Kyle, don't we have to we it. have to move someone. The rules are we have to have four teams in S tier. Do we? Yes, because th these are the teams currently in the playoffs. In These our are, opinion, we have to have four right. playoff teams. So let's, I guess, let's look at schedule and who's, who's, who's had the best. <laughs> we can skip Michigan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Clemson has a win over Wake Forest. Okay. That's all, that's all they've played. Oh, they, 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 they did play Georgia Tech, but. Yeah. Georgia Tech's uh, coach fired on Sunday, by the way. Yeah. And USC. <laughs> yes, an and overtime USC, win against Georgia Tech. Or excuse me, against US, Wake Forest. USC beat Stanford and Oregon State. 
I uh, guess who's, you give the touch. Who's NC State? Guess, well, have, uh, we have NC State in the A tier. Who have they beaten? No uh, one yet. Uh, right? Remember, they had that one point victory over East Carolina in week one. Yeah, that they wasn't did, hot. They did They then uh, turn around and beat Texas Tech and UConn, which we're going to. For... <laughs> UConn's one of the worst teams in FBS. Um, yeah. So Kyle, I, I, think I think it's I think, USC. Oh, I was going to say Clemson based on their schedule. I think it's USC. All right. I, you don't have to twist my arm. Okay. By the way, I think whoever wins Clemson versus NC State probably ends up stealing that spot next week. So it's. I agree. I think USC is just renting that spot for now. Um, Kyle, do we want to move any of the teams currently in the B tier to A tier? We only have three teams in A tier. I don't feel like we have to for what it's. No, yeah, no, no Jayhawk love. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> nah, not happening. I mean, I mean, maybe as, as much as I don't like them, but maybe Tennessee. They they do have a win over Florida Vic now. And over Pitt. Okay. Now and the Pitt, both of the, by both the way, of those, I, both of those are in our B tier here. Or actually, Florida is not. Though. No, Florida is not. In fact, hold on, hold on. Florida. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so maybe, maybe maybe you move Tennessee up there. Maybe you move. If Oklahoma there. State goes undefeated, I feel like they get a CFP spot. That just depends upon who who else is available. If USC is also undefeated, no, they don't. I feel like even you know if. If Georgia and SEC or Georgia and Alabama, I just almost called Alabama SEC, which is telling. Um, <laughs> if if Georgia and Alabama are both undefeated going into the SEC championship game and one of them loses a close game and USC is undefeated and Ohio State's undefeated, those three teams or those four teams, even with one of the SEC teams getting a loss, Still gets in over an undefeated Oklahoma State, in my opinion. We can talk about whether that's right or wrong, but I think that's what happens. Yep. So yeah, All right. I, I so, guess you can. Tennessee. Do you? Yeah, I, let's just move Tennessee for now. Okay. I'm gonna just for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of an order here. I'm gonna go okay. NC State, then Clemson. Then Michigan. Oops. So if you're going to order, if you're going to order that, do you want to order the S tier? I do. Okay. I'm going to put Georgia one. Georgia, then Ohio State, then Alabama. That's, that feels a little bold. I like it. I think Alabama and Ohio State right now are pretty tied in my in my head. Um, is that is that fair? Because. Like, why, why are we shitting on Bama? Because they barely won against Texas. And I get that Texas has sucked since, but they they, well, I, they lost Quinn Ewers in that game. Um, yeah. Give us four because we embrace it. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> well, I mean, I, Ohio State has, I mean, Ohio State has looked better against their the tougher competition, which is the only tough competition Alabama has had so far as Texas, while Ohio State has Notre Dame and Wisconsin, and they've looked pretty good against both of those teams. So, right. And that, Georgia, I, I, Georgia humiliated Oregon. Yes. Um, do they have a second big win? Uh, Kent State. <laughs> that was a close <laughs> win, not a big win. <laughs> Uh, so if Ohio State and Michigan play each other at one and two, not impossible in your opinion, do they both make it? First off, you're overhyping Michigan. Um, they, they are not that good, in my opinion. Yep. They, they are not that good. Uh, there's zero chance in hell they're undefeated going into the Ohio State game. Um, oh, this should be a fun game there. Oh, it is a noon game. Oh, they lucked out, Jared. Michigan lucked out. They're heading to the Big Ten West, uh -huh. but it's a noon, but it's a noon game. Yeah, it's we were we're not in like, yeah, we're not in that season yet. Um, yeah, let's it's at, at Iowa. 
I almost want to put Ohio State at one because of what happened with George. Are we just being homers if we do that? I mean, because I'm yeah. like Ohio State. They, they have the. I think they have the best. I think Georgia has the best win right now, and how they looked against against Oregon. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, I think I'm good, and we're not going to try and order the B tier by any means. So uh, I'm happy just sort of leaving this as as this. I think we're good. I think we're good oh, here. Uh, one, one more move, Jared. One more move. Okay. Okay. Take Jared, who do you think they lose to? I think they beat Penn State, unfortunately. I I watched them struggle, and I don't care what the final scorer says. I watched them struggle and kind of not be the better team against Maryland, and it's Maryland. Like, you're not going to convince me Michigan's good. I think Michigan could easily lose a couple games this year. Yeah. I don't think uh, they beat Penn State. They the last move here is taking Northwestern and putting them down in M tier. No M tier to me is a team. We actually had expectations for that failed those okay. expectations. Okay. Uh, All right. So uh, that's that you, we don't put a team down there just cause they're bad. Like there's that a special the type. There's a special. Oh uh, yeah. Actually. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's that's a good point. That's a good point. Okay, okay, Kyle, hold on. Uh, Cincinnati to A tier, or excuse me, to B tier, to B tier. Well, they're they're not ranked yet, but I mean, what what okay. good wins have they had? What good wins have they had? Okay, no, you're fine. You're fine. I'm not I'm not prepared to fight about it. It's all good. We'll we'll leave them down there for now. All right. Uh, Sparty might beat them. I, I assume we're still talking about Michigan down in the chat. I think so. Um, not, and I don't even think Sparty is all that good. Like, I just don't think Michigan's good. I think people are hyped on Michigan because they played the easiest three game skid of all time. Yeah. Like they played the easiest three game skid of all time. And then they looked kind of shitty against Maryland, who I don't care what anyone says sucks. Yeah. All right. I got a few questions here before we wrap it up, Jared. Oh, okay. Nomad, you know, you know me, these let are me, good. Let me, let me go back to regular you, podcast mode. You know, these are good questions when it comes from Nomad. Will we see Kansas versus Syracuse in the Natty? No. And should should a FCS team be allowed to play a NAIA team? I, I I don't care. Is that is that an acceptable <laughs> answer? I don't care what well, the plebes are. I don't care what the plebes are doing. The, the, this one's right down your alley, then, Jared. How useless are the polls? The polls are incredibly useless. Only in basketball. There you go. Basketball is different. All right, and uh, and we already gave the update on the slip pick, so we answered that question. And Buckeye Zach has a has a few questions here and we'll co and we'll wrap it up okay arkansas still wins the sec west right no no they never were going to it's still going to be bama mm -hmm. this is this is not a great like by bama standards this is not a great bama team but luckily for them um it's a down year for the west yeah the the entire sec west is garbo like i i do actually think and even after, like, I'm aware that Texas A&M just beat Arkansas. Okay. I'm aware of that. I still think Arkansas is the second best team in the Big Ten West. The SEC West. That one. <laughs> All right. And uh, is Miami, in fact, truly back in the no. toilet? Yes. <laughs> Gotta let me finish that one. And last question, with with the start Kansas is having, does uh -huh. it truly open up? Does does this truly open up the fact the Big 12 is complete garbage? Does it truly open up the fact? I feel like that fact was already wide open. And I think like Texas and Oklahoma throwing deuces and traveling a little bit east. So it's so proved it's just, that already. So what is it? It's just Oklahoma State now? 
because Baylor has a loss. Oklahoma has a loss. It's Oklahoma State now. Yeah. Um, and, and, and Kansas. I forget about Kansas. <laughs> and Kansas. That's why we're talking. That's, that's where this question started. Um, sh- <laughs> you guys keep having fun with Kansas. It's, it's, listen, you're having fun. They're having fun. You're having fun. Everyone's having fun with Kansas being four and oh. And, and enjoy it. Have fun with it. It's not, it's, it's not going to be here that much longer. <laughs> you're, you're seeing a blue moon. Take a picture, get a selfie, enjoy the blue moon while you got it. Cause it's going to be gone soon. Watch Kansas go 12 and no. No, no, I won't. I mean, the Big 12 will become the Mac 2.0 when Texas and OU leave. Yeah, it's uh, it'll be interesting to see how all of that shakes out. Um, the Big Ten's not done expanding. Um, the SEC's not done expanding. Um, there, there, there's a bit of a stalemate going on right now between the Big Ten and the SEC because the SEC really wants to go grab Florida State and Clemson. But they also kind of know in doing so, they'd completely destabilize the ACC, which would hand a bunch of schools to the Big Ten immediately as well. Um, yep. The UNC and... Uh, who, who's our second team we always mark in the ACC? Virginia. Which I know is not exciting from a football standpoint. I, I understand that. But... Yep. They're one of the, they're the best public school on the East Coast. So th- it would happen. So you can like be upset about that, but that's exactly who it would be. It would be North Carolina and Virginia. Yep. All right. That is it. Jared. I swear if Ohio State gets stuck with a damn 1030 p.m. kickoff in Southern California, you'll be so pissed. They won't. That that is valuable to TV real estate. Yes. I, I promise you that won't happen. All right, that that is it, Jared. That's all the questions we have. And I think it's time to wrap it up. All right. Um, we played Signals Midwest on Monday. We'll play Signals Midwest again on Tuesday, but that's too early to be saying that. Uh, right now, I'm just telling you about going to the sloopcast.com. Um, until you uh, until SC becomes the new Nebraska and the Big Ten. I don't think that'll happen. I don't think unlike, that will unlike unlike Nebraska, USC actually has a good coach. Yeah, but they also have a recruiting base to pull from. Yeah. Nebraska doesn't. One of the things that has hurt Nebraska so much is the rise of Texas AM, TCU, Baylor, a lot of the a lot of the Texas kids who would have at one point traveled up to play in Nebraska aren't anymore. Because the mm-hmm. second, the, the non Austin, Texas schools have, have sort of risen up into decent programs, and that's preventing kids from going to Nebraska. Have a good night. 3 30 comes eat. eat uh, yeah, we're almost done anyway, Matt. So yep. feel free to jump. No worries. Um, you know, it's just fun to think. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I get it. Uh, did Grinch follow Riley to USC? I I don't think so, but I don't know. Kyle, where's Alex Grinch right now? Uh, you you looked that up. I'm gonna end the show. Um, make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok. I almost said Facebook. We're not on Facebook. Um, Twitter wherever else uh, you can find all of those links at the Uh You can also find our merch links there. You can also find um, he is at USC. I'm seeing in the chat and Kyle nodding. Uh, he is. So yeah, he did follow to USC. Yep. The DC. Um, yeah. So just go to sleepcast.com. Uh, make sure to visit our Patreon page. You can join Matt. Matt's a, a new uh, contributor down here. We've been talking to Matt all these past two episodes. Um, new contributor to the Sloop Cats. Uh, you too can do that by going to patreon.com and signing up for the $3 tier. That's all it takes. Uh, you can give us more if you want to give us more. Um, and, and like, I would just think if, you, if you've if you received, 
if, if you're someone that listens like all four episodes every week and we're contributing, we're providing like four hours of entertainment for you, um, three hours of entertainment to you a week. It's, is it worth a dollar per hour? Just just to help keep this afloat and help keep us going and and everything else, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, we, we didn't even really even seek like sponsors going into this year because I think we're just kind of over ad reads for a minute. So if you guys want to keep extra ads off of this, I would uh, kindly request that you uh, head over to patreon.thesleepcast.com. And if you guys give us, uh, if enough of you contribute at $3 a piece, uh, we, we probably won't even bother to ever seek advertise, uh, advertising ever again. And by the way, if you're listening to this on our Spreaker feed, where we do have a uh, uh, a profit share set up over at Spreaker, and you do hear those ads that are spliced into the show, um, if you become a patron, again, patreon.thesloopcast.com, uh, you get access to a, uh, a podcast feed that is just for you, um, and it doesn't have those Spreaker ads on it. So you can avoid those Spreaker ads uh, for $3 a month as well. Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? I, the crew needs to get on their butts though. They need to, they need to start winning games if they're going to make the playoffs. Yeah. (laughs) They're they're on the outside looking, they're on the outside looking in here. They, what is it? They have, is it two more games? Yeah. No, they have three games left. They got three games left. They they need to win these. They need to win these games here. They they gotta they gotta start scoring points here. They 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 haven't won a game in almost a month now, Jared. It's been tie, loss, tie, tie. Like they got it. They gotta they gotta get a win here. They they lost early. Yeah, and the USM yeah the US national team looked like dog shit against Japan. Also, I didn't see that one, but I did see a lot of people they, pissed on Twitter they Saturday lost morning. Two nothing. Now, was that that that's still a friendly at this point, right? It doesn't actually count for anything. It's still a warm up. It's still it's a warm up. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, it does, it. I'm just saying, there aren't any actual yes. consequences. Correct. Of this. Correct. Okay, but it's not a good sign by any means. Nope. All right. All right, Kyle, that's the end of the show. Uh, We played Signals Midwest on Monday. We'll play them all week. So um, once again, this is another Signals Midwest song. So with all that being said, I want to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Signals Midwest.